lead on Stanford in their game three until this pitch. 2-1. That one is blasted to left field. Cody Hunt gone grand slam. The Cardinal taking the lead at that point. They were still out in front in the ninth, holding a 10-5 lead. Donlin pops it up. We'll see. Bowser in foul ground underneath it, and he makes a catch. And the celebration is on. The Stanford Cardinal are going back to Omaha. Stanford's second straight appearance in the Men's College World Series. Their first three-run comeback in the NCAA tournament since 2014. UConn finishes the season with 77 first-inning runs, second most in Division One, but they're still seeking their first World Series appearance since 1979. The Men's College World Series begins Friday in Omaha, and of course, it's on the ESPN Networks. Sports Center all night. Back to Major League Baseball. We've seen a couple of runs of success lately. There's the Braves, who were on a 12-game win streak. There's also the Phillies. They had a nine-game win streak snapped on Sunday. But then on Monday, and he's set. He kicks the 2-1 pitch. Swung on, line towards left center field. That's going to get down for a base hit, and he's won the game. He's got his first walk-off RBI. Fearling scores, and the Phillies win it. Hoskins hands in the air, races in the second, and waits on the celebration to start as the Phillies come back and beat the Marlins 3-2. 94 WIP, Reese Hopkins, the walk-off double. First career walk-off plate appearance. Phillies. 9-1 and one since the firing of Joe Girardi. They've won 10 of their last 11. Their fourth walk-off win this season. Reds and Diamondbacks. Here now Moustakas loops one over the first baseman. It drops fair down the right field line. Reynolds will coast around third. He will score on the broken bat single into right field by Moustakas. 700 WLW Reds for a second straight day, overcoming a three-run deficit to win. 5-4 the final over the Diamondbacks. Reds had been 1-30 when trailing by three runs or more prior to Sunday. They are now 3-30 with the back-to-back. -back. Speaking of overcoming deficits, how about the Cardinals? The 3-2 pitch is hit high and deep to left field. Did he get it? Back to the track and it's gone. off a of Stratton and the Cardinals have a 6-5 to five lead. Cardinals Radio Network. Cardinals trailed 5-0. It's their first win this season when trailing by five runs or more. They entered the day 0-12 for 12 in those matchups, but they get the win 7-5 over the Pirates. Paul Goldschmidt, 3-4, for four, including that go-ahead home run. The solo shot in the 7th, his 21st career go-ahead homer in the 7th inning or later for the Cardinals, the win snaps a streak of 57 straight losses when trailing by five runs or more in the sixth inning or later. Well, it's getting pretty late for the Celtics. What's next? It's ESPN Radio. Greeny with Mike Greenberg. Steph Curry has a chance to...